Hi everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. It's the 20th of February today and it's another bright, cheerful, sunshiny day here in Fond du Lac. Uh, Cindy Nicolosi. Not sure if it's the same for me. It's Eastern time. Will I see it now? You should see it now because I just hit the go live button. So for there it is. I had it prepped in my phone and ready to go. I took a minute on the front end to find it so that I wasn't looking for it while I was with you. <laughs> Trying to be productive or I should say proactive. Hi Randy Schultz. Hi Debbie Gatt and lots of tools to fussy cut is so true and I just realized I'm like you guys I'll be honest with you I'm like I gotta I always go to the bathroom right before I go live because sometimes it's two hours right and I was sitting there thinking oh I didn't cut out all my tools ahead of time so everybody's gonna have to watch me fussy cut so that's exactly what I think of on the, when, when I'm sitting there. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Uh, uh, so she thinks she's early. Yes. You, so you guys, around five minutes to whatever the class time is, I get into my tablet and I set up Switcher Studio. And then I go over to my computer and I add the cover photo, add the tags, add the date, add the language, blah, 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 all the things, all of the things. Hit save and then share the link to Facebook. And I do all these little odds and end things to kind of prep the live. And so that when I actually sit down in the chair, all I have to do is hit go live. And if I was not a just in timer, I would be sitting here at quarter two or like, let's say 15 to 10 minutes beforehand. But me and my infinite um, abilities, hi Donna, hi Melody, I don't know, wisdom, it's not wisdom, I don't know what it is, but I have to, I'm the type of person that you have to fit in more things into every minute that you possibly can. So I end up, I'm one of those people that's always five to 10 minutes after I am not a five to 10 minutes early kind of person. So my mom was here, she left 10 minutes ago. <laughs> she was pretty much leaving as I was sitting in the hot seat here. Uh, and she came for about 45 minutes. I think she got here at 2.30. Oh, she was actually here an hour and a half. She got here at 2.30 and we got about 15 packages out we kitted up the rest of the January or the February monthly class. I'll show it to you. So I've got card kits left for the February. So the ones that I don't use in person, we put them to go, like put them in kits, like in envelopes and package them up ready so that if somebody wants to sign up yet, we've got them ready to go. Uh, and hi, Sherry Everett. Oh, I think I said hi already. <laughs> Your name popped up here again though. Um, and then, oh, I don't know. I looked to see if there was any more orders and there were, there was one more order. Kathy Dolly Nagari had an order. Hi, Sherry Martin. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. So guess what, you guys? We're going to do celebration board number nine drawing. Yay. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's everything, right? I, I, if you, I don't know. Is anybody else like me that they just try to sneak in and squeeze in as much into every possible minute as po like at, that I can? I just, that's how I roll. And Diane's got class in here at six. Uh, hi, Jeannie Parker. And so I'm Still trying to get the tables cleared for her here so that like basically she's going to roll in as I'm finishing and I wanted to have the table. So you guys, that's just how it is. So for those that don't know like how it works, it usually once I um, hit like the save button here, it saves it, it puts it out there and then it takes me usually five to 10 minutes. Depends on how many indirect distractions. Sometimes somebody calls, sometimes I get an email and it's like, oh man, just answer it really quick and that's how it goes. So yay, we're here though. Once we're in the hot seat, we're in the hot seat. Uh, and we have a great class for you. Hi, Sandy Wake. Hi, Linda Scott. Hi, Lynn Beasley. Oh, Lynn, as long as you're right here right now, I, uh, I don't know if you saw it and I've been meaning to text you or call you, but I have your check. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it during the Happy Mail Showcase. The mailman didn't officially lose your check. I actually found it. Um, I was hoping that I'd find Sharon Davis's check, but I didn't. Uh, I found yours though. So Sharon Davis's we think is really lost because it would have been in that pile of mail. Yours showed up. <laughs> and so I was just curious if you just want to message me back, should I hold on to it and use it for like a future purchase? Or do you want me to rip it up and we start over fresh? Either way, works for me. <laughs> so, but I've been meaning to ask you that. And I've been catching up with a lot of people. Um, Donna Gruski, the mystery card is due, I think next Tuesday, the 27th. If you, did you get the email from me? I sent it last night. I scheduled it for 8 p.m. It has on there the link and it also has in there, so the link to the Facebook and it had a date in there. And I think it said February 27th and also in the Facebook post, I think it says February 27th. Hi, Deanna Stell. 
Uh, so Cindy loves watching. Yay. And I talked. Hi, Gail Stefan from Canada. Yay. So Gail, did you take this class with Rose? So this trusty tools class is the one that uh, is offered in Canada via the amazing and astonishing Rose Coleman. And then it's offered in the States by me. And you can get kits from Rose or you can get kits from me and Gail's in Canada. I just reached out to Rose. So Rose just did class this afternoon. <laughs> you guys, we went back to back classes. So Rose is at 1.30 or you could watch her replay now, but she was live at 1.30 Central Standard Time. I snuck this class in today at four uh, because of my spa day with my silver elite on my team to kind of honor and recognize her. And then we're dragging my mom along on Thursday. And uh, so those that are signed up for this class, I wrote in the email to you that Tyler told me, he kind of gave me strict orders. Uh, basically he nagged on me for about 30 minutes. I wouldn't say nagged, <laughs> but he told me, I will let you know after class. Perfect, thanks Lynn. Um, he basically said, you cannot have class after you have a day of relaxation because it kind of like defeats the day of relaxation. And I've had this day on the calendar since we had to schedule it back in middle of December. It was the first day that this place could get my mom, Diane, and I all in together at the same time so we can kind of like be together. And I was all set. I'm like, we'll be home by 5.15, 5.30, 5.45 at the latest. I'll roll right into class and life will be good. And basically, you guys, uh, last week, Thursday, he said, no, <laughs> he's like, you shouldn't do that to yourself. And so I appreciate Holly Poplo when you're watching this, she replied to that email and she said that she most certainly agreed with me. And all it needed was one person to tell me that she agreed with me and it made sense. And I felt better about making that decision. So again, thank you to everybody for your flexibility with this one. And I know Rose has kits available if you're in Canada. I still have about eight or nine kits, I think here, if you're in the States, uh, there, 15 or 15, something like that. Lots of kits left. So uh, when you guys see this class in action, you're going to realize all you need are sentiments. You don't truly need the trusty tools stamp set or bundle. If you don't want to buy it, you could still make some awesome tool cards. Uh, they could be used as birthday cards, thank you cards, get well cards. I'm here for you cards, retirement cards, like anything you want um, for them to be for the person in your life that gets an appreciation of like the tools. So uh, he's right about that, a day of relaxation. <laughs> so that's good. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to drop the camera down. I got a few things in front of me uh, before, uh, before we get started with class. I want to share with you, in case you missed it, today's Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, the mystery card. I actually made my card live with you guys. So in case you missed mystery card night, this is what I show you how to make. And you have until, I believe, Tuesday to get your card submission in so that you can um, be in on the drawing. Um, I have here also, I'll show you, I'll do this later. Um, let's see what I can say with that right here. So I wanted to share this. Um, my friend Andy Aquisto uh, gave me this shirt recently and I thought I should share it. It's awesome. It says, she works hard for the honey. And she said that she, hi, Marsha Long. Um, hi, Rose. Uh, you have six left of this class. Perfect. So my, my friend Andy Aquisto sent this. Uh, she brought, actually brought it in person to when she stamped with me recently. So it says she works hard for the honey. And so when she saw this, she thought that this was perfect for me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So I am excited to put that one on. And then on top of it, another friend of mine, my busy bee, um, oh, I have lots of stuff here. She gave me socks to Joanne Kahn, uh, from the same neck of the woods as Andy Aquisto. They're both down by the Port Washington Grafton area. Uh, so she gave me a shirt that says be humble, kind, fun, confident, brave, smart, happy, wild, creative, joyful, and most of all yourself. Hi, Laura Sullivan. Uh, and so it's, uh, amazing. It's a nice gray shirt. And then she also gave me a pair of the bee socks, which are awesome. So got some bee love here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you guys, I'm staying on top of the happy mail, sharing it with you as I get it now. We're back on track. I also have an exciting, uh, um, awesome news here. This card came from Connie Moore, and this one came from Debbie Lindauer. So uh, you guys will be excited to hear that we have the next two months worth of Share, Create, Inspire card classes. So Connie's came in by one day sooner than Debbie's. So Connie's will be used for March and Debbie's will be used for April. So they gave me the recipe cards. So you guys, now that I have the recipe cards on the front end, I will photograph them and add them to the actual event. 
Um, so Connie's will be April, uh, March and then April for Debbie. So yay, I'm so excited. Look at how professional that she has it on there. She's got a little thing on here and she typed this, you guys. Uh, a plus for effort. Um, and then just so you guys know, though, you can hand write it too. Um, just so that I can read it is always the best thing. Uh, if anybody wants to get these recipe cards, they were th these recipe cards and this whole Share, Create, Inspire class came about because of my collaboration with Rose Coleman. And so this marks in March, my one year anniversary of doing this Share, Create, Inspire class. And I will tell you guys that I have heard so much positive feedback from that class. I think, hi Mary Lemke, I think I ramble on a lot, like thinking out loud in my, it's like I have to, I can't have silence, right? I can't, like that was weird to me. So like I think out loud and I talk out loud and then you guys hear my thought process. And what people have told me, uh, I'm glad you guys like the shirts and the socks, yay. What people have told me is they love hearing me talk through the process of, why I pick things and what colors go together and that helps them when they go to design cards. So what this Share Create Inspire class has become the culmination of like the like how to design a card and so I have a mystery of I don't know necessarily what it is and then at the end of class we open up the card in the envelope and compare and basically it's a reverse reverse mystery card night <laughs> so i'm just excited so you guys know we're all in the loop um and i know Jeannie parker you have a recipe card outstanding and i know you're gonna be sending it so if you get yours in next we will do yours in may yay okay cool beans and bagels all right what else um so rose as long as you're watching I don't know if you want to just message me in the comments. Let me know if you do have roll call for today's class or if you don't, that's okay too. I know you said you have six left. So if you're in Canada and would like a set of these card kits, you reach out to Rose Coleman. She is absolutely the most amazing demonstrator that I know in Canada. And I would love to refer any business to her. So she's amazing. Um, she's your gal. Uh, and she is just a delight to watch. I was just watching her class this afternoon and she's just so pleasant to listen to. So anybody anywhere in the world needs a good demonstrator to watch too. Just Rose Coleman's your girl. Um, so, all right, I am going to do, <laughs> Rose says she talks a lot too. <laughs> hey, you, it's like, you can't have empty white space, right? <laughs> all right. Um, I will, as long as I have the book in front of me, I'm going to do roll call for the gals in the United States. Um, and then from there, we'll keep going through. Um, Brenda Cottrell, Janice Ormiston, Jenna Helms, Karen Woods, Donna Grushke, Sandy Wicklander, Sherry Everett, Shirley Malarkey, Jeannie Parker, Pat Fleming, Angela Knutson, Christy Wiltshire, Angelique McClendon, Cheryl Thomas, Deanna Stell, Carla Lake, Susan Wormley, Feline Mays, Jenniel Payne, Kathy Showalter, Diana Woodland, Leslie McMinn, Sharon Rouge, Francis Rodriguez, Susan Bellamy, Lynn Beasley, Cindy Runtree, Becky Gandolfo, Nedra Dover, Vera Anderson, Debbie Gast, Vicky Rod oh, did I just say Vicky? No, I said Francis Rodriguez. Well, then we have her sister, <laughs> Vicky Rodriguez, Helen Chase, Laura Sullivan, Linda Scott, Mary Carls, Pat Lee, Melody Miller, uh, Rose Garibaldi, Karen Stegg, Luann Trumpower, Carol Alanis, Barb Tyler, Kathleen Ketterman, Joanne Kahn, Chris Robinson, Jan Wampach, Patsy Roberts, Holly Poplo, Sherry Parker, Sandy Wake, Laura Fitzgerald, Laura. I think that this is the first time that I'm saying your name out loud for a class on the front end. And Carol, Kathleen Ketterman too. I, I'm thinking back in my head, this is one of her first classes. So welcome to our newbies, yay. Uh, Carolyn Ketchmark, Shelly DeArcy, Joanne Naples, Rosie Prouty. Rosie, these are your, this is your first class, yay, I'm so excited for you. Annette Rollin, Cindy Ettringer, uh, Brenda Schutte, Patty Taylor, like literally Patty Taylor signed up at 350, uh, 340, you guys. So about 45 minutes ago, I saw her registration come through. I'm like, mom, should we just do one more shipment really quick? Mom's like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And so we just, we just, uh, so Patty Taylor, your kits are going to the post office right now. Uh, and then Andrea Graham. This is one of Andrea's first classes as well. And Sandy just got her mail and she has happy mail. Your cats are going crazy <laughs> from this. They must smell the cats, you know? So you guys, I will be honest with you. I have three cats. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> 
I think you do, but I'm just being kind of funny. Um, the cats have free reign of the establishment. I can't tell them where to go or not to go. And if I do lock them out of a room, they will try to dig their way out. And cats being cats, like my cats have claws and they claw at the, um, the foam, like the weather stripping. Uh, to the point where they've basically demolished the bottom five inches of the weather stripping if we like leave them in a room with us locked and they want out, okay? So they, they basically have free reign and we have all the piles everywhere. And it's so funny watching Tigger. He tiptoes around them, but that doesn't mean he doesn't leave his, like, his fur, right? So yes, so, so they must smell, Sandy, they must smell the kittens. <laughs> so definitely possible. Okay, so this also is the class here. If you're in the United States with me, I give a gift to people who purchase the bundle as their RSVP for this specific class. So this bundle that we're using today is Trusty Tools, and there's an awesome stamp set and dies that we're going to be using. And there were, I want to say a special thank you to these people that bought the bundle. They actually, um, like, so the reason I do this promotion is because somebody actually really likes the bundle or suite that was picked for class enough that they bought the bundle for class. And I like to reward those people with a special token of appreciation. So I give them a half a pack of paper of the matching DSP. And so Donna Grushki and Carla Lake, Susan Warmly, Francis Rodriguez, Cindy Runtree, Laura Sullivan, Chris Robinson, Carolyn Ketchmark, and then I had two people in person, Bobby Rubish and Cindy Posh all bought the bundles and it's so exciting. So they all got a half a pack of paper as a gift. So next month, the, the sweet bundle class, and we call it a sweet bundle class because sometimes it's not always a sweet we feature. So the trusty tools is definitely not a sweet. Uh, it, it fortunately had matching paper that this paper is free during celebration and it's still available. Yay. It's still available. There's a lot of celebration items that are still out there. I feel like there's only a couple things that have gone away. And so this trusty tools designer paper is one that you get free with a $50 purchase. And so these gals all got this half a pack of paper next month. It's notes of sweetness is the bundle sweet that we're featuring. So in, in case like next month, it's uh, sweet hi veronica next month it's a sweet and you get a half a pack of the notes of sweetness whatever mm, mm, sweetness i'll show it to you when we get the catalog out i'll show it to you you'll get a half a pack of that if you rsvp with um purchasing the bundle from me using the host code hi rose i don't know if you do that exactly the same way i do it's just an added little benefit uh that i've been doing with this class probably since i started doing this class in like 2020 or 2019 whenever it started uh so uh, so that's a little uh, perk. Um, at the end, I show that there were 16 people who placed orders to get this class for free. And I'll do a little drawing to give somebody a free gift from me for placing an order. So when I close workshops, I have host rewards. Uh, when you guys get classes from me, you use the host code. It helps me to build my host rewards, which I use to buy prizes and use to get products to help offset the cost of the materials for the class. And so let me just flip this down. I'm going to show you real quick. You guys, I still have about four left or five left of this DSP sampler. Uh, it's for the spring mini catalog. Um, it features a swatch of all of the designer paper, all of the cardstock colors. And this is a great reference tool if you're an avid crafter that you like uh, assistance with putting colors together or like maybe you're like I don't want to pull out all the DSP every time you have your book next to you, you can be like oh yes that's the perfect pattern paper for the card I am thinking about making and you know it's in lighter than air like next month is featuring nature's sweetness so I think that the stamp set bundle might be called notes of sweetness but that's the half a pack you'd get uh, next month and then this DSP sampler is still available if you're in the states I can mail it out to you uh, this week yet if you want to get it. So here's the Trusty Tools Designer Series paper. So it's a great little reference tool if you're a demonstrator who teaches classes and you want to share this with your customers. You don't always have to buy all the packs of designer paper. Um, you could show them this reference tool and then people could see what colors go with it. So we definitely pulled in a lot of the designer paper. Uh, definitely there's two sheets of tools. I don't think I have the full sheet down here. Um, there's two sheets that are completely full of tools. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that a lot because I should almost, I got to think about if I can go run and get one of the sheets of tools so you guys can see how they got cut. Because I am sure 
I'm betting any money people are like, well, why did you give me the edge? And half the tool is missing. And like, like I'm going to get that. I know that. And I want to talk about that. So, but these are all the different colors. And again, this is the DSP sampler for the spring mini. I have about five of those left. And for those that are curious, all of these tool things are available from the mini catalog. Um, so let's just look. Oh, I went to look for a sweet and it's not there. So let's just real quick. Nature's, nature, nature's drink. So next month we're going to be doing nature's sweetness. I had every intention of getting these done today. And instead I worked with, um, one of my team members on her business uh, from 2023 to help her get all of her stuff figured out and help her get on the right footing because <laughs> she's meeting with her accountant and I want to help her make sure she's not missing anything. So I, I spent a couple hours with her instead of designing cards, which that was a good thing to do as well. But I did get, I did tell you guys, I was going to work on this class and I'll share these with you. This is the Memories and More class. So I'll be working on these this week and just know that by Friday, I'm going to be doing my showcase uh, for what's coming up in March, and I will have those four cards done and ready to share with you in the showcase. But uh, for the trusty tools, let's go to page. So you guys, don't forget in the back here, there are samples next to the, the bundles, and I often refer to these pictures for ideas to get going with um, if I have creativity block. So 56 is right here where it's, the tools, so this is the bundle that got featured. Like this card right here, that is the card <laughs> that we cased for class today. And you can see it, I have it right here. So today we're gonna be making this card and it was cased from this one right here. So definitely it's like not a problem whatsoever if you case, it's called copy and share everything. And Stampin' Up! really promotes that because it's sometimes hard or a lot of times hard <laughs> to come up with ideas, right? To be creative. And so by looking at other people's ideas, it's a good starting point. So we're going to be working in a moment. We're going to be working on these cards. Now, I originally thought in my head that this card that we cased from Judy Sharp was going to be the hardest card of them all. And it actually, to me, is probably the e one of the easiest cards to make. And this one is going to be the hard one. Oh, so I think we're going to start with this one. When we, when we work on cards, we're going to start with this one first. But I did tell you that we were going to go through, and I was going to share with you the Memories and More cards for this class coming up March 8th. It's going to be, I don't I remember if it's 15 or if it's 14. One moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess it's 15. I thought it was 14, but it could be 15. All right. So the Memories and More class uh, comes with the Memories and More cards and envelopes, the card pack, the embellishment, and I'm using the opaque gems, uh, and the... Um, wavy trim is what I pulled in here. So I'm just going to roll through these with you guys. So you guys get a first glimpse sneaky peeky at the memories and more class that I've coming up. And the inside, I did use up a lot of the stickers. I only have about maybe five stickers left. And this actually is a half a pack of the cards and envelopes and the um, card pack. So when you do this class, you'll have half left over that you could duplicate it. And I'm contemplating just putting the bases in and the mats in for you to duplicate it. I'm thinking about that. I think I might do that. So, and then here's another one. And then I liked that. Love, love, love you two pieces. And then, so this is, you have to work with the colors that come in that Memories and More card pack. And so what we do is we line all everything up and we kind of mix and match and I actually, this is what I worked on when I was down in Florida. I met with my team down in Florida on January 29th, I think, that day I was down there. Remember, I, you guys, I went to Florida the end of last a month, and I came back. Hi, Francis Rodriguez. I came back with this kind of map or roadmap for these. Not put together, but I knew, like, this piece goes with this piece. That's what I worked on that day. So I did bring something to work on, and um, and today I finished it. Yay! So there's another beautiful. So if you're into the butterflies, this set is beautiful. Um, so you could use these cards. What are the size? So Laura, you're not going to like it because this is a memories and more class, right? The memories and more cards are always bigger. You guys, 
The memories and more cards are four and a quarter by six and a quarter, right? So Laura, whenever you hear memories and more, I think you can shut your brain off because you're not going to like it because <laughs> you, you only want A2, right? So the only A2 ones are the ones that I do ad hoc to use up some more of the, like the first thing I do is lay out what ones will go with these bigger envelopes and cards and then I do the extra ones small. So so you're not going to be excited about this. And I think it is 14. I think I counted. Oh, no, it is 15. Because here's one of these. That is an A2 size. Happy, happy, happy. And then on the inside, birthday. And so there's five A2s. And then the rest are whatever size. Hi, Angelique. The rest are whatever size this is. Like, I think it's six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And so, yes. So for those people that do not like A2, this might not be for you. Um, and... But don't you get envelopes with them? So you don't have to worry about having the um, to find envelopes. They are matching envelopes that are the most beautiful envelopes. They are the peacock and the coral um, that match perfectly. I don't have them down here. Of course, I have them upstairs in my craft room. But look how pretty these are! So like I added in some cardstock, some embossed pieces, some card bases. These are stickers that come. They're foil stickers that come in the kit. And then what I did is put together the layouts and and then figured out how to add ribbon to every single card. So the ribbon got incorporated everywhere. And there's two more. Happy. Isn't it cool? I put the happy right through the butterfly and it kind of like is in line with the, the body. Kind of like looks cohesive. And then the last one. And enjoy the little moments. So what's super cool about this class is you don't need to have any stamps. <laughs> <laughs> they're all stickers or they're all printed on the cards like already. So you would need stamps for your insides, right? So sentiments on the inside or if you want to stamp some extra focal. But I did use and I did manage to get a sticker in every inside of every card. So uh, so you don't need necessarily have any stamps whatsoever for this. So hi, Diana Woodland. So that's the memories of more. And again, you guys, I'll be sharing that with you uh, next, um, this coming Friday. So in case you guys missed it, this is what I mentioned. My mom helped me kid up. We had about 10 or 12 left of the monthly class from February. So if anybody still wants to get this past class, it is available and I have a bottom. Okay. Um, and then don't forget next week, you guys is the celebration. Hoorah, rah. Let's wrap up celebration with a bang. And we've got a fun folds class to celebrate. Our last kind of hoorah-rah. This class is, you guys, I'm spending my extra day of the year with you. We have a class on February 29th, and we are honoring Leap Day with a Fun Folds class, right? And this one's, the like, my favorite. So, super cool. So that, you guys, I still have about eight left of that class if anybody wants to get in on that. So, anything else before we get going? Because I have my kits here, and I always get the post-it note ones, which are the, uh, the weird ones. Hi, Cindy Runtree. All right. So Mary says they're pretty. Yay. They're very bright and cheerful. I love the color combinations that they did with them. So cool. All right. Let's talk about this, you guys. I have a story for you. I do have a little story for you before we get going. Um, so last week, Tuesday, it was a, a chaotic, crazy kidding day. We kitted up this trusty tools class. We kitted up the fun folds class. And we kitted up Rose's technique club class. So we did three classes. We started, hi, Karen Weston. We started at 9 a.m. And we finished at 7 p.m. And it was... 400 and 400 is 800 plus roses is 20 times 460. Let's say 400, oh, 850 cards got kitted up. We were fried by the end of the day on, on Tuesday. Like we thought we were gonna get everything shipped and out the door and it didn't happen that way. We ended up having to rearrange all of Wednesday to do shipping in the morning. And you guys, I had to like finagle things, right? Which is fine. <laughs> so right when we get ready, I have piles galore all over the counter, right? About We did 80 shipments that Wednesday. It was like, that was what the, the scan form said, 80 shipments. So just as we're ready to start doing the, okay, get it in a package, get the label. Let's get it like ready to go. Uh, get, you know, get it all set. My mom turns around. She's holding a pile of these black four and a half, these four and a quarter by five mats. She's like, were these supposed to go in a card kit? And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, really? How did we miss putting this card in like this this little mat? And it goes in the. It wasn't even the last card we kitted. It was the second to last card that we kitted. And all I know is like, huh, 
well, I'm just thankful that we didn't have all these packages closed and that we had to open them all up. Because if you guys ever get tape on a package, you know that we had to open it up to like add something or check something, um, which doesn't happen a lot. But if, if you ever get tape on it, you know it's not the postman trying to get into your package. It's probably us on the back end that did something. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, the good news is that we put trusty tools on everybody's piles um, and it was the top class versus the bottom class. So the first thing we did is we pulled out the 20 that weren't accounted for, like that weren't signed up. We pulled out the 20 for in-person that left 60 or let's say 56. We had two that went out to the counter for porch pickup already. And then what we did is we laid a piece on everybody's kit and I had one left and I'm like, whose is this? And so Angelique, <laughs> you are the lucky girl. <laughs> I, I was, you're the, was like the second last package to actually put a label on. And it hit me. I'm like, oh, this is for Angelique. <laughs> like, this is Angelique's piece of black paper. Like, the one that we were missing. I opened up your kit. It didn't have it. And life was good. We had accounted for all of them. So, I am putting this out there as a public service announcement that if by any reason somebody who signed up for this class is in fact missing a black to let me know and we'll figure it out. Like if you don't have black per se, like we can, I can send you a piece of black in the mail, but I am almost 99.9% uh, .9 sure that we got them in everybody's kit and it took us an extra half hour on Wednesday to make that correct. But I was like, I don't want you guys thinking that we miss pieces of paper all the time because we don't. It just happened that we were all fried. My mom was fried, Diane was fried, our feet hurt, our legs hurt, our brains couldn't think anymore. Some of these kits, when we open these up, you guys are going to be like, holy Moses, there's a lot of pieces of paper in here. All right, so my black piece is still sitting here. I never even put it into my kit. I just set it here. So pay attention to your slip, you guys. Um, your slips probably have, a, a, it says trusty tools, and it would say today's, it will, actually it would say t t Thursday's date, February 22nd of 2024. So just know after this live is done, I'm going to move this class back on my events calendar back to Thursday. And so it's on the right time again. So, so if you guys are ever trying to find uh, the linkage of the YouTube video that you can just easily go to my events calendar with the date that's on your paper, which is the 22nd. So yes, Angelique, you have been the special one with shipping <laughs> with your package going all the way to Connecticut and then coming back. And I'm like, I can't mess up Angelique's I can't do it again. <laughs> so, oh, you guys. Okay, so what do you have there? You guys, when you get a card class from me, everything's in the kit as is, and sometimes you have to check your notes, uh, but we're, we're going to start with this gray one, I think, because I said that that one's going to be the humdinger for us, and I want you guys fresh and alert enough for this. Um, so everything comes in your kit. In this case, everything, like we always put the fold in first so that as you pull it out, everything should be contained in here. Um, any gems should be in there as well. Um, always though, go back and check your envelope. The other thing that advice was from Diane and some of the girls that came to class on Saturday, <laughs> if, especially if you lose things a lot, get a cookie sheet <laughs> that has like a jelly roll pan that has the sides that come up and open your kits over the jelly roll pan because that might help you um, uh, so that you don't lose bits and parts. So I will say that for this card kit, this one, there's two different versions of this. One comes with a power drill, one comes with a seat clamp. You got one or the other. Uh, we just didn't have enough C-clamps and power drills to go around. There wasn't enough for everybody to get one. So you got one or the other. That That's a main thing. So I look in here and I've got this one. Um, some of your drills, the end is cut off on this side. And so it just, oh, some of it might be cut here. So just depending on how your drill is, you're going to have to finagle your tools into your drawer. Uh, so like look at, I got full ones. How does that happen that I got full ones? I shouldn't have should have the worst example to show you guys. So hang on, I'm gonna go grab another kit to see if I can find some other tools. I just went and grabbed a different kit just to show you how, like when we were kitting these up, Karen Weston, you guys, bless her heart, she cut all the DSP and she, rough cut all your tools to get them to this point. So like if I'm opening up this kit, this one's different. This one has, actually it has a full drill, right? And then it has four tools here. Like, okay, so that's a different one. So you can see it was slightly different and I'm just gonna pull this one. We, we got to the point where we did not wanna sit here with all these extra tools like stockpiled. So what we did is we just kinda randomly put more tools down. 
on people's like here this one has part of a level part of a pencil and part of the the head of a screwdriver and then it has this so i like i just want to show you guys that they're all different you might have half of a uh allen wrench not a, a channel lock you might have half of this or you might have just the legs here that are going to be coming up so everybody's are going to be slightly different so this one was hard because people didn't quite know on Saturday, like, well, how do I put my, my tools in my tool chest? Well, that's what we're gonna walk through. And also, <laughs> this is was hard for people. Oh, Angelique got her package today, yay. This was really hard for people to con like to understand what's going on with these little quarter inch strips. Uh, there's two sets of them, two longer and two shorter. You have this, which you're like, well, that's not gonna work for me. I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna talk through it. You have two of these pieces that are for your outside and then two wheels and like I noticed on mine here it's kind of missing part of it just a hair it's like flat that's okay because that's gonna go up underneath and you're not gonna see that so that is a little half inch punch now the joke with um that we came up with with this so we have the tool the stamp a stack tool cards oh, where do I have them oh here so we made for, as you guys, we have at the end of class, I'll share with you if you haven't seen these yet. We did 14 cards for the Trusty Tool Stampa Stack that's coming up next month. So we kind of redid this tool cart and we put the little half inch wheels on here and it looks so wimpy, wimpy, like the cart was going to tip over. So we used three quarter inch wheels on that one. So they got bigger rims and everything. So, all right. The other thing with this one, there is no embellishment, so you don't have to look for that. We just were like, well, how do we put a, an embellishment on here? Oh, Cindy's just arrived too. That's good. So no embellishments. We kept it simple. Guys don't always appreciate the bling, right? We know that, right? They don't need glitzy stuff. They don't need ribbon and embellishments. And so this car, we kind of left it like that. Um, so big kudos though, you guys. Um, Tammy Sikolik and her mom, Sandy, a lot of the die cutting. And Anna Rebidoux helped out with die cutting. Rhonda Ayers, any embossing that was done in here, she did that for you. And then Karen Wetstein did all the cutting. Kudos to Jolene LaJoy. She helped write the PDF tutorial. And then Karen helped um, proofread it. You guys, it was definitely a team effort with this one. So I noticed on here, there's a little bit of gray, right? You see that there's a little gray. I don't want that on here. So I'm going to just do a little schnibbling. I'm cutting off an eyelash is what I'm going to do here and get that gray off of there. All right. So now what we need to do is... Let's just cut this. Each one of these represents a drawer. So at the top of the drawer, it's gray. Like picture like you're pulling out a drawer. So that's like the ridge, the ridge, the ridge. So you have to do three cuts on this. One here, one here, and one here. So yes, you guys have to do this. I did not do this for anybody ahead of time. I figured you guys, like it was enough to get the piece the right size for you. In person, I did cut their stuff for them on Saturday. But basically what you're doing is cutting the drawer. And I notice I have a little tinge of red at the top here. And if you don't wanna see that, all you have to do is cut that little bit of an eyelash off. All right, so there's drawer number one. All right, and now behind drawer number two, uh, we're gonna cut that off, all right? So there's our second drawer. So every one of your DSPs was cut so that you have four drawers too big and too small and so then just make sure you're cutting that you leave the gray on the top of your drawers right so there that's one thing all right so this little strip in case you guys are wondering this was an extra thing when we're cut when we cut kits <laughs> I could never keep 15 of these strips like this like I don't know what I would do with them so what we've been doing is we've been cutting them up and we've been giving them to you and you can choose to put them in your kit if you want to or not. If you don't like the whole putting DSP on the side or on the bottom, then do something else with it. All right, Beth Meyer, I'm so sorry. I'll call you back. I'm, you guys, let me turn my volume off. I didn't know that I had it on. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. So what we have here is the bottom one gets popped up. The next one gets flat and then popped up and then flat and what we can do is as a guide there's two shorter ones what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue the bottom one on and it's a quarter inch strip and so a really bit of glue a little bit of glue a little dot'll do you a little dab will do you I'm going to put that right along the bottom here okay 
So line that up like that. Okay, so then the bottom drawer has dimensionals. And I'm gonna use my little ones. And my advice for you is to put two tracks or two lines of them. And what you're gonna do is just pick off the bottom one. Don't pick off the top one, because if you pick off the top one, you're not gonna be able to tuck your tools in and wish them a good night. So what we're gonna do is line this up along the bottom. I'm just trying to center it. Okay, so these little strips here are to like frame out our tool cart. And now, so what happens here is these are not sticking so I can tuck tools in. This next one is going to get glued flat. And you just wanna line it up and keep it in line so that it's kind of, you don't necessarily see the bottom of it. It's kind of like slightly tucked underneath the ridge of that one and then centered left to right. And now for this one, the smaller drawer, same thing. I would do two, thanks for sharing, liking, sharing and liking Sandy. Um, Sandy, I have a list for you, and I was going to email it. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I contemplated me emailing it before I went live, and I thought, no, don't do it. You'll be five more minutes later. So I have a list started for you. I don't know if you're free after I'm done with class if you'd be open for a quick conversation, Sandy, but I would love to go over everything, over everything with you <laughs> via a phone call. Oh, all right, so you guys, this guy is going to go here. And again, I only picked off the bottom leaving the, did I do it backwards? Oh man, you guys, nobody told me I did it backwards. Hang on one moment, please. So I can fix this. So I meant to only pick off the bottom. So let's, let's just rearrange these ever so slightly just for the moment. <laughs> At least I caught it. All right. So let's put these right here. All right. Now let's try again. The bottom one is what is taken off and you want to make sure your drawer is straight. Okay, and then this last one will go here. We're gonna glue that flat, like that. And then this will go right here, tucked slightly, just a hair, that eyelash is just right behind. And then what happens is you have a little bit of room left for this guy, All right? So let's now glue him on. So this paper, you're probably like, what is this paper all about? But it's for a tool cart. It's to make a tool cart. So now this will go on the top, just like that. And then you have these side strips left and they are gonna go on each side and they are gonna be a hair longer than what you need them to be. And that's okay, because I always would rather have things be uh, longer that you cut them off than shorter. Hi, Becky Christensen. All right, the replay, that's so awesome because the replay, I'm sad that your order didn't arrive, but definitely always um, can catch the replay. All right, so you guys don't mind that extra little bit of overhang. And then right here, okay, perfect, Sandy, I'm glad. I will give you a jingle as soon as I wrap things up. I'll probably call you once I get in the house because I'll get kicked out of here. All right, so then this one goes on the side. And the great thing about doing it this way, we learned this, and Judy Immel had this idea. The great thing about this is if, for any reason, it ends up being too wide, it's okay because you won't see the back like that. Okay, now what we can do is trim these little t edges off. And then um, that's like the base of our tool cart. Now we have some wheels and the wheels, we just pop them on with a couple glue dots. So I'm gonna stick that one that had the, you'll see it here if I hold this up. It's so, so slight, but it is, it's missing part of it. Um, and that's okay because this, <laughs> I, I have a card sample I can use. So I can put this on there. And then this guy, I'm not gonna push down too hard because 
I might need to move them slightly up or down. But for now, I'm just going to set this right here like that, just to give me an idea. <laughs> the wheels are kind of a little bit, a little bit small for the card, for our tool cart, but that's okay. These little uh, designer papers, um, they get glued on the front of the card. So move these over. And I did not burnish, so let me burnish this really quick. Okay. These just go right at the top, like that. And then one here, like that. Then when I have this, it's gonna go right about here. Cool beans. Okay, so I was just looking to see. Yep, and I did pop that all up. So you could use your black dimensionals, your white dimensionals, whatever you want to do. And we're just gonna put these. So I have some of these dimensionals that are left over from kits I've been doing with you guys. Hi, Jan from rainy Northern California. Okay, so let's get these all picked off. And then this will go in the front of your card. Just like that. And I realized one second, you guys, I'm a picky one. So I want to trim that little edge off. <laughs> that little bit of eyelash needed to come off. Okay. So your cart should be about four inches wide, which is the same width as the design, designer paper. All right. So we got that so far. This little guy comes from Stylish Shapes, one of my favorite die sets. And you can put whatever sentiment you want in it. You could do birthday wishes, a card to say hello. You could do thank you. I have a memento ink pad and I'm gonna put birthday wishes in there. And then I'm gonna actually glue it flat, not pop it up. Pop it up, pop it up. All right, a sentiment for the inside. Hmm. Um, find an awesome sentiment. If somebody wants to tell me a name of a stamp set that has a really cool sentiment, I'll see if I have it. I could put that in the inside. I, don't know, I could go run anything from the mini catalog or the annual catalog. Something guyish, right? I put this off to the, the right a little bit, I think. I could have waited until I had my tools in, but all right, now it's time for the fussy cutting. Uh, so I have this drill and there, so there's dies. The stamp set for trusty tools looks like this, okay? And then the die set is where you have the, ham the hammer there's a wrench, a paintbrush. Some of the dies have complementary stamps to them and some actually stamp out the focal image that doesn't have a stamp. And so I do not believe that the power drill has, <laughs> oh, you guys, there's gonna be lots of tools to cut out. I, I wish I had a Vanna White here right now. And I wish Honey could be put to work. Honey, I'd have her cutting out these right now, but she's like, mom, I don't have opposable thumbs. I can't hold the scissors. I can fetch a mouse though, like it's nobody's business. But she doesn't always bring it back to me. <laughs> so we're gonna go. So the nice thing about this <laughs> is that the designer paper is kind of easy to cut. It's not thicker, so you're you kind of like glide right through it. So we have that one. And then everybody has one of these snips or wire nips. So we're gonna put this down here. Hi, Mary. Carl's coming in late. Mary, I got your check. Mom had it in her purse since the day you gave it to her, which was probably like a week or so ago. So I did just get it and I have it now. She kept forgetting to give it to me and that's how that goes. But it is safely here. So just let's round around here and get this up here. So for the trusty tool stamp a stack, I am going to reach out Barb Collins. If she's hearing um, her ears are ringing right now, it's because I'm going <laughs> to reach out to Barb Collins to get. So like this guy, so this drill, I'm going to, so because these are like this, you can kind of easily pop this up like that. And then this one, 
is going to kind of go in here, but it's too big, right? So you really have to cut off stuff like this to get these to fit in here. And that's even too big yet. So cut off a little bit more. And then there, that's when it will tuck in there. This channel lock, we don't need all this. Watch that. There you go. See, you wonder why I gave you parts of tools. It's because you don't need all of it. This will be perfectly fine to fit into it. And then you didn't have to sit there and cut all of it off. So let's go here and then we'll go up slightly here and <laughs> oh I'm awesome at fussy cutting thank you Cindy I don't know I just move the scissors is what I do and there so remember I cut that off and that's okay because when I go to put that in here you're fine like that's exactly how much you need to show now do you have other tools like if you have more tools in your kit. Oh, you could even use these things. So what you could do if you wanted and to keep them together, together I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to try to keep, I'm going to see if these might look good. And instead of throwing these away, they might be beneficial in a different card as well. So you know what I mean? You could put them right like that. And they're like in the drawer like that. Now these guys are left and I feel like I have enough stuff on the outside of my cart and I have this left, this little nips. I could save it to see if it could be utilized in one of my other cards, which would be fine. Or it could also go on the inside of my card if I don't wanna use that strip. Or if I do wanna use that strip, this could be on the other side. So for now, I think I'll let this guy sit off on the side and marinate a little bit. Hang out right there for the moment. Let's get the scrapperonis over there. All right. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I'm good with this now though. So what I'm gonna do is put a dimensional there and I might just put a glue dot down here and that'll be for that. This little channel lock, same thing. I'm gonna put a dimensional at the top and a glue dot at the bottom. And that'll hang out like right here, something like that. And then this one will hang out. Oh, see, I can't necessarily do it like that. I have, to, because I have my end was cut off. I have to kind of get it in here so you don't see that. And so we're gonna put it right about there. And then this one is going to get a dimensional here and we're gonna put a dimensional on this one as well. And we'll put a glue dot. It's like a pair of legs is what it looks like to me. So this will come up like that. And then this one, we'll get a glue dot as well. And I think that I'll put a glue dot right there. So you guys, anybody that's watching and is interested in a set of these kits, we still have them available. So we're gonna go something like that. <clears throat> I think that that looks good, right? I'm good with it. Now, the question though is like, what about those dimensionals? <laughs> well, now you can pick this up. I'm just gonna use my nails. And you know, I put the, you, <laughs> you have to put the backs on properly because if you put them on the wrong way, they don't wanna come apart. So I don't know how many of them I put on backwards, but what you have to do now is, that one I did fine. And then this one I did fine. And that one I did fine. Now you can pick those dimensionals. Same thing down here. They're ready, they're prepped, they're staged, and all you have to do is pick that waxy paper off. And then you're good to go. GTG. All right. So did I see anybody that had an idea for me? Hi, Holly. Cute card. Okay, perfect. So nobody, nobody gave me an idea for a birthday sentiment. So for now... Whoever wins this card can always stamp their own birthday sentiment on the inside. And I will get this little strip glued on my right hand side, like that. And then we're gonna flip it over like this. And put that on our inside. Some, this is gray granite and real red is what the color combination here. Deb Norman received her paper pumpkin today. Yay. 
Ha. So I should have my extras sitting behind me. They're all sitting on my table in the kitchen. Um, I have, I think, four left for, uh, for February. Good to know that. Uh, it's a spring one is what I think I saw. So I had some glue right there. Okay, you guys, we got one done. Yay? Okay. I'm going to leave it sit right here so that you guys can study it if you need to. And we're going to go on to, I think we're going to do this one next. Or let's see, this guy. Yep, that's the one. All right, so you guys will see on this kit that Rhonda embossed, hi, Anne Percival <laughs> from Australia. So you'll see that um, Rhonda embossed your base, but she only embossed the top, right? So she ran it through the embossing folder, only half of it though. But you still will need to garnish your edge here. Okay, so copper clay, all right, copper clay. So I'm just gonna set that out of the way now. Hopefully you guys, anybody that did this class with Rose or me, you would have gotten the PDF tutorial. So you have pictures, you have measurements, you have instructions. Um, you can follow them. They're on the pin pad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you can refer to the PDF tutorial as well. <clears throat> so in this one, you guys will have a little bit of the jute, right? I had a lot of this copper clay jute left over from other classes. So a little bit of jute. You have a little white piece here. Actually, it's the bigger white piece. That's for your inside. <laughs> Anna and Sandy and her mom. Look at this, you guys. All of this die cutting was done for you. <clears throat> so you have a hammer and... You have it in black and you have it in silver. And so we'll need to adhere those together. You have a wrench like this. I do Sue Spagner. I have like 15 of this class left. So just send me a quick email. Absolutely. We'll get you on the list. You have a little die cut. This is from the Stylish Shapes. And we're going to put the hello, hello, hello in there. You have two of these, one in red and one in black. Because Tyler was around when we were making this card. He needed, he wanted it and said it needed to be a Milwaukee drill. So it's a Milwaukee drill in case any guy needs, the guys know that though. All right, so we'll put that together momentarily. You have the silver. So you guys, silver foil is unfortunately no longer available. It was part of the online exclusives until about the week before, maybe two weeks ago, it went out of the online exclusive. And you know what? I don't care. I'm still, I wasn't gonna not send out all your kits because it doesn't use a current product. We need silver paper. Uh, and Anna actually, I ran out of silver foil, so Anna actually went into and dipped into her personal stash for me to help so that we didn't run out of silver foil. Then you'll have two of these and then two of these. And so this is for you to make your wire snips. My helpers are the best. I cannot disagree, Lynn. They, they got my back. They really do. And so Rhonda Ayers was the one that personally put down every one of these little handles and she made sure that they were all facing the right way for you so that the die cut part was down and your they weren't mix matched like the like she made sure they were right. So uh and we triple checked everything. So and then here's your piece of pegboard and then you have this is where the die cut of the black came out of, right? So you'll know that that's how that goes. I will tell you that the black was cut a hair shorter than the designer paper. That's how it worked. And we weren't gonna <clears throat> recut them because it actually looks okay to us having that black kind of cut in a little bit. If that bothers you, that little bit of black, you could always trim your base a little bit or you could always trim your piece of designer paper and then see some of the embossing on the side. Whatever you want. Um, just know that we are aware that like it kind of divots in and we're just calling it out that it divots in, but some it gives it like a little nice character. Um, so what we need to do on this one is we need to start getting glue happy. Um, and what we can do is put a little bit of glue on our hammer. I know it's a ha hammer, you guys. I'm just saying hammer because that's what we call it. <laughs> it's a hammer. So our hammer has the silver like that. Okay. Your wrench is good the way it is. Um, for the drill, this is how I would do the drill. I would grab my tear and tape, wherever that might be right here. All right, so these are two different pieces. What we need to do, I think I've got this red on top, so I have to cut this and nip that like that and nip that down, and then this will get glued on there. And then you've got to follow the curvature of this so like that would cut that off and then over here 
I think I just went at an angle up to here and then I went straight over it like that. And then I didn't use this for anything. And what we can do now is put a little bit of glue on both of these pieces. Set that there. And then this one will go on the top. So this was just basically cutting two of the drill out. And then now we're just paper, pierce, paper piecing it together like that. Okay, so we have our Milwaukee tool. Then for the, the drill bit part, <laughs> words are hard, choose your words. <laughs> Oh, Ruth Nicholson, um, I did see your note. I don't have you on the list at the, uh, maybe I do. I have to go look. I can't, I'll look later. I will definitely look later. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting a piece of tear and tape right here. And I don't want to cover up all my silver, but I want to cover up some of it, just a little bit. And what I'm doing is taping, taping this on and it's a little bit too long. So I'm just going to bring it back a hair. So I just used a piece of tear and tape to connect the two. And then what we'll do is prep this stuff with a couple or a few dimensionals. Make sure we get, oh, that little guy there. Hey Ruth, definitely, you'll get this class. I have, I've, I have plenty of it available. I'm gonna pull back this tape, just a hair to put a dimensional right there, because otherwise it won't stick over the waxy paper. And I'm just gonna pull that off right there. And then this one's ready to go, so we'll just pull all of these off and have it sitting here waiting. <laughs> I appreciate you and your patience, everybody, right? Um, there's that. And then we have this little guy. Let's put this together. Glue dots, that's what I would recommend on this. So you have this circle -y part is where I'd put the glue dot. Thanks, Sue. And then it goes so that you need to have the circle -y parts overlap and you want your nips kind of closed, right? So just have them meet up here, okay? And then your handles the, so this is where you're gonna practice your rose techniques. So the silver part goes underneath. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just prep a little glue over here, but it's schmeary right now. So we're just gonna let that sit and wait. That's the rose technique where you're letting your glue kind of get gooey so that that'll connect very nicely. Oh, you know what? I've glued all these flat. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna pop them up now. So originally on my sample here, everything's flat. But since I already popped up the drill, we're gonna pop up all the rest of these. Why not, right? Because once you pop, you know you can't stop. All right, and I'm using the black ones because they'll hide better behind. And then one more right there for good measure. This is where the black mini dimensionals, they really do an amazing job. Okay, and then what we can do I'm actually gonna glue this black piece down first. So just work your way around here. And then I'm gonna center that top to bottom, left to right. And again, I mentioned that I know I'm gonna have a little copper peeking out on the left and the right, like that. And then this will go down next. Yep, perfect. At least you got it. Sure did. I know, right? I'm so glad I got it. Well, I knew that my mom always had it, so I wasn't too worried. There's that. And this is another one where if this DSP was shorter than your card base, you could trim your card base just a hair. So we've got the drill is sitting up about here. I'm just going to set these here lightly. And then we've got this one over here. like that, our hammer right about here. 
And then now back to our nips. They're not dry enough yet. They're still white. So I'm gonna grab my Hello stamp. So the Hello that I'm using comes from a set called Hello Ladybug. So Hello, Hello, Hello. And it's a Wee Widow stamp. And we're gonna take our Memento ink. Stamp that right in the middle. It's a nice photopolymer stamp so that you can see exactly where you're stamping. And then we're gonna grab the tear and tape. I'm gonna have one waiting in the wings. So we're gonna flip this one over, put the tear and tape down. Grab the jute. And I have it so that the end is in the middle area. And so you have plenty of jute, I believe. And you're just gonna, because it's already curly, it should just naturally go around and around in a circle. Like this. And keep going until you use it up maybe. Unless you're happy with two on the bottom and two on the top. I think I'll do, what I got one more here. I got a little tail here, let's see. I'm good with it like that. There's like little hairs coming off the top here, so I'm going to just snip them off. And got a little loose tail back there. We'll put a little tear and tape over the back of that. And a couple more black dimensionals right on the sides. And right there. We've already got that tear and tape running through the middle. And then this will go Right there, maybe. Okay, now I'm gonna go for it. The little handle here goes on to that side, and the other handle goes on the other side. Try to make it so they're even. There we go. There it is. Okay, this one, though, there's not a lot of space. Um, to put a dimensional, you can, um, and if you wanted to, what I would do is grab the sides here of the black dimensionals and cut a little strip, and what we'll do is cut one, two, and a shorter one, and this could go for the silver part, this will go for the handle, and then one more for the handle. Perfect. So because I let that glue sit for a little bit, it got tacky and then it helped it stick right away. All right, so let's get these put in place right about there. Cool. Now, this was another one when we sent out the kit we didn't put any embellishments on it. Well, they were sitting here in person on Saturday. They're like, we want an embellishment. So I'm like, okay, we can make an embellishment. So you guys don't have it in your kit. But what we did, in, and this is, I don't even have them. Oh, yeah, I do. If you have these at home, and for those of you who have done certain classes with me, these have been one of the items that have gone into like an ink, paper, scissors, or a stamp -a stack in the past. So if you do have the black here, you could take this little white, this little guy and put it right in the middle of your snips there and it just adds to it, right? So that's what we would do on that one. And again, you won't have that in your kit, but any little black matte dot would look great on the inside of that. Cool. Do you like it? Does Mikey like it? That's what we got. You don't have to really sell it anything either. All right, Mary, we'll see you later. All right, so there's our second card. So we've gotten two done so far. They're a little bit more time. These cards are a little bit more time consuming because of all the bits and parts. I didn't even do my inside. So you guys remember here, I had this left and I could very easily just put this on the inside of this one. 
You could stamp, what did I put on the inside of mine? Probably nothing. Oh, I stamped a wrench. Well, that would work too. So why don't we do that? I have the wrench stamp. Might as well use the stamp set, right guys? We've got it. So you guys, I was watching Rose this afternoon and she does a really great job of talking about the glass mat. <laughs> Rose, you do a really good job. Uh, if you're still watching, you do a great job talking about the glass mat. You guys, it's available yet through the 29th for people who start up uh, with Stampin' Up uh, to get the starter kit. If you are in Canada, you definitely want to reach out to Rose if you need help um, getting signed up. And if you're in the U.S. and you don't have a demonstrator that you already work with, I would love for you to join my team, the Be Happy Stampers, so that you can be a proud bee. Yay. Um, I just mailed out. Oh, man, you guys. I gotta show you my picture here. I meant to share this on my team page. I just mailed out all of the team cards. I did, I took a picture of them. I gotta post it yet, but we just mailed those out. Um, I think we mailed them out on Friday. So yay, we got a lot of team cards going out. We had a bunch of newbies join the team since the promotion started, which is awesome. So we would love it if you don't have a forever home yet. We'd love for you to join our team of growing bees. So this goes in here like that. And what's super cool when you emboss the card base is you see that on the inside. Isn't that cool? Oh, Laura said this is gonna be a keeper like the ball cap set. Yes, people were on the fence about the ball cap set from a, from a couple of years ago until they got it. So until we did a card for that in April, I think of 2022, and it, it was awesome sauce. Okay, so we got two done. Let's pull another kit here. Let's see which one this is. All right, perfect. So for those that did the creative escape with me, the winner creative escape, you um you would have you'll recognize this card. It was one of the escape cards. And where do I have it? Right here. We'll pull out a sample so you guys can see it. This is where the black piece will be. Um, it should hopefully be in the back for you. You'll also have a white piece. You'll have your designer series paper. You'll have this, Anna cut all of these for you. And she did a special job for you because this little die does not go the length of it. So she had to line them up like this. And then when she went back, she had to line them up slightly like overlapping. And then she ran each piece of these papers twice for you guys so that she, you know, so that it came through properly. All right. So you will have to do a little bit of pokey pokey on that one. And you'll have a toolbox with a handle. You'll have three of the cork rounds. We'll go get to them in a second. And then tools. And I think that the reason, nope, I, that's the regular size. You guys have the sweet array, some, some trim in your kit. You have a little strip of designer paper. You could always put that on your inside here if you want. And your toolbox here, the base. And there should be a white piece in here as well for a little sentiment. So we've got that. We will need to take a moment to do any of these poking things just because they should pop right out once you start poking on them. So Sandy, the directions will be emailed to you. I don't print PDFs for my class takers. <laughs> oh man, each tutorial is probably six to seven or eight pages. And if I have a hundred people, you know how much um, copy paper I would go through. Um, so no, I don't include the PDF tutorial in my kits. I email it to you ahead of time though. And because you signed up a little bit late, I don't know, hang on. Let me just see. I keep a mark in my book of when I emailed it. Let me just see. I emailed it. Oh, of course I don't have a little tick mark. I generally put a tick mark right where I, I know I emailed it. I think I emailed it at Laura Fitzgerald. I, Sandy, you're right on the cusp right there. So I did email this out. Did you check your uh, spam folder? Because I, I did email this class out Saturday morning. So if you signed up, I can't remember the day you signed up. But if you signed up before Saturday, then you would have been included on the PDF tutorial that I emailed out Saturday morning. And so it should be in your inbox um, or it would be um, in your spam folder. So anyways, this will go over the top of that. 
and then we have DSP, our cart, or our toolbox. And then look at all this stuff, okay? You guys are like, why do I have all these bits and parts? So you should have, for sure, a tape measure, a full tape measure. Everybody should have that at least. And then after that, it's like, who knows what you got in your kit? We went at the end, we had so many little schnibbles left over that we went through and we just like put them all over everybody's piles because we're like, we don't need tools, but you might be able to have that, come, like a handle coming out like that. You could. So that's why you have all these tools. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's put the base of the card together. Um, so what we'll do here is burnish our folder or burnish our base like this. You know, Sandy, you're going to make me wonder this the entire like rest of the live. So just give me, entertain me for 10 seconds here. If I go to my scent folder really quick and I search for tools, I can tell you who the last person was. Trusty tools, card class. I sent the PDF out on Saturday morning and the last person on the list was, oh, Sandy, you're in there, Wake Island. So the last person was Pat Lee. So Sandy, you were, yeah, so that, I sent that out on Saturday morning at whatever time, Saturday morning at, oh, 3.59 p.m. Okay, so it wasn't in the morning. It was in the afternoon. So, so yep, you should check your email. It should be there. The last, so, you guys, this is my system. So now that I know that, one moment, please. Pat Lee was the last person, and Pat Lee got added. It was Rose Shelley to ours, Karen Lynn. I thought it was Joan Naples, Rosie, right here. Okay, so now all the extra people that I got to email everybody else after. So that that's a good thing to know, you guys. So if you add on to a class after the fact, after I have sent the original PDF, I usually am spot on that I try to send it within a couple days. But I, I try to always get caught up on that, and I don't always do it right away. So then I, <clears throat> I usually have somebody that gives me a, a gentle nudge that says, hey, I never got the PDF for that class. I'm like, oh, shoot, you didn't get it, and five other people didn't get it too. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to do this one. Yep, Cindy got hers. Perfect. So, yeah, you guys, almost everybody should have those. Just five people that signed up recently won't have theirs. Okay, then this is going to go flush on the bottom here, just like that. Okay, and I'm seeing that I have a hair of black hanging over here. Now, let's before I cut that off, I'm just going to see once this black goes end to end, so I'm not going to worry about it. So to glue this, you have all these little holes all over the place. So how would you do this? I actually, I'm just going to go like that and hope that none of it really seeped through. Look at your, where your holes are. Mine are perfectly aligned. And then hopefully yours are too. If they're not, pick whatever side that's the better side to go at the bottom because the top side is going to have ribbon that goes over it. And this is where we need our tear and tape again. We need to have two of them waiting in the wings. So Sandy, why don't you take a look in your email and hopefully you find it. And if you've checked your spam folder and you've checked, like, so the other recommendation is search trusty tools in your email, like search for it. And maybe you'll find it that way as well. So this is gonna go right here. I'm gonna just kind of keep it as straight as possible. If you can't find it, send me an email and I'll forward you back that email and hopefully you'll get it that time. And then we're gonna glue this like this. And this will go right onto our card base. Like that. Yeah, you definitely needed that black piece of paper in here. All right, now our toolbox. This is where we're gonna say, do that same trick. Where I'm gonna put dimensionals on the top and the bottom like that. And then also, oh, wait one moment, please. Um, one thing I did on my card here, in case you can't see it, there's two little lines that kind of make it look like um, score lines. And I should have done that before I'm grabbing out my scoring board before I put uh, the dimensionals on, but we're going to go, we're going to try for it. So I'm just going to line that up in here. And at three, so this is at one and a quarter. I'm just going to go back to the back three A's. 
<laughs> it doesn't work as good with dimensionals on it, just saying, but it, it works. And what I'm trying to do, <laughs> I should have just taken them off. Hang on. Let me just do this. See, this is what happens when you get the cart in front of the horse. Got to fix the horse. There. So I'm okay with the other one. That one wasn't so bad. But I just basically did three eighths inch from each side. And, and put a little score line. It just gives it a nice little... Gives it some character, some grooves. So let's redo <laughs> what we did here. All right, now this will be the bottom. So we got those picked off, but we gotta get our handle on as well. So what we're gonna do is put a glue dot right on each end like this. And then we're gonna pick up the handle and catch the glue dot with that, like so. Okay, so we've got our handle attached. If you want to, you could also, I've got this strip right here left. We could put that on the back top edge here like that. And I'm leaving, I'm leaving the dimensional backs on though so that my tools have an easier time sticking in. So this is gonna go down and I've got like the second hole down, meeting the ribbon kind of like this. I'm gonna say something like this. Hey, Joanne, I'm glad you can join. Actually, I'm trying to line it up so I don't see a half of a hole there. So I'm gonna bring it right to that area on mine so I don't see a hole there. Okay, now let it just sit here for a moment and before I push it down. And then on this one, Let's get some stamping. So this could be um, thank you. So we're going to use that. And I think we need to grab, this is for our inside. And let me just see where I have my thank you. If it's in here. Nobody really wanted thank you the other day. Uh, people chose to either stamp something at home later. But let's do this really quick. So we're going to flip this out. And put the thank you on here. The thank you fits perfectly in this little strip of paper, like that. Perfect. And that's going to end up going like right about there. And then we have. Okay, my chamois officially dried out. <laughs> I need to rehydrate that. So. We'll just grab another block for this one and our inside. So here's the deal. If you want to use this little strip of paper, you might not opt to put the little tape measure on the inside, but the tape measure is kind of cool. So we'll just set that off to the side. And what you can do is put the tape measure right there. And that's it for that color for the moment. And you need real red if you want to match. You could have any color tape measure that you want, but real red is what matches the outside of the card. That fits a certain way. <laughs> Just making sure I got it right. Like that? No, yeah, good job. All right, so there's the inside. And that was real red for that. And then this could get glued on the inside. And then for this, I'm gonna put glue on the left side and we're gonna put a dimensional on the right side. So we're covering up two of the holes, right? So we're gonna put that, something like that. And then this will go on our inside. And perfect, do change -o. All right, Vanna, let's get your cutting done. I don't think Honey's coming over here to help us. So you have a tape measure. I don't know what color your tape measure is. There's different colors. There's blue, there was yellow, there's reds. I think there was three different colors. And none of the tools really, uh, like you are just got a mixture of different tools to put in. 
please. Oh, why are you sorry you asked? <laughs> you, it, Sandy, you can ask. I just was happy that now hopefully you find it. Like um, the, you guys can ask for things whatsoever. You don't have to feel bad about asking me. Like I just was like wondering, did I send like where I was in my list was sending it to you? And it looks like you should have it. So all good. Don't ever t like apologize for asking for something. If you don't know, you don't know. So hopefully you have it. Like, like I don't know where it went. Um, if you guys got a level, like that's going to go in there. If you have a paintbrush, you could always use this paintbrush on the inside too. And so um, hopefully, Sandy, I want to report back from you though. I want to know if you find it. Like I don't want you waiting in the wings for a PDF and then you don't ever find it. So um, part of the deal with taking an online class with me is you get a PDF tutorial as part of your registration and it is included. And so I email them. I don't print them. I email them. And if you don't get it for some reason, like I want to make sure that you have it so that you might not, you might want to refer back to it, right? You could put this guy like that if you want. Um, you might want to refer back to it to make more of these cards. So I don't talk about instructions or um, you guys see how I make the cards in my videos, but I don't tell measurements. I don't have time to necessarily say, oh, this piece is this big and this piece is this big, this piece is this big. Like I do a class to show the people who are taking the kits with me like how to put it together, and then they have the PDF tutorial that they can refer back to um, if they want to recreate the cards or use the PDF to make the cards. So it's like a little gift, an extra little thing. You bet. So let me know. Like I, either, Now you're going to keep me wondering, so you're going to have to tell me regardless if you find it or if you don't find it. So you guys, I have this wrench here, and my little wrench here has a part missing. I see that. And that's okay. We're going to make the most of it. Um, we're going to figure out a way to incorporate this on our card. And maybe, maybe I put the paintbrush. If you don't like the, the idea of this side being cut off and that side being cut off, you could, if you have a full paintbrush, you could put the paintbrush in the front like that. Like see what you have for a full tool and put that, and I'm just gonna round that because maybe this guy actually looks good coming out there. And then I have part of a channel lock here. And I'm wondering, hmm, let's cut this like that. Oh, there's a pencil. I just saw the pencil, guys. So let's grab with this pencil. And we're gonna put the pencil in somewhere. And then let's see how we can finagle this channel lock in here. Like, I've had people tell me that they didn't realize, like, why I don't talk about measurements very often. And it's because, like, I, I write and create a PDF tutorial for people who take the class. And then I make those PDF tutorials available in my online store if anybody wants to purchase them. And then that's where you would be able to get that. And sometimes you guys can just figure things out on your own, too. Uh, when you have like, uh, you know, bases and mat sizes. How So this guy is missing this right? How can we get this in here and not realize that people won't know that it's missing that? And I'm thinking we could go like that, right? Just have it kind of tucking behind the level, <laughs> not the ruler. All right. I kept calling it a ruler the other day and Diane finally started calling it a ruler too. So then I didn't feel bad. All right. But I have this end of a little screwdriver and we're going to get that in here as well. And you can just have it so that all you see is a little bit of the blue and nobody will ever know that it's not all there. All right, so look at all this stuff. <laughs> you can put a little pencil right there. Okay, so my toolbox is gonna be overflow with, with tools. I even have like this handle right here if you wanted to. like you really, really want to, you could see how it would work. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm not going to actually show that part. But you guys, instead of throwing this away, could just the handle be coming out like that? And nobody knows what it is. And if you wanted, I actually have the other half here. It looks like I could have put these two together and put like two handles and have them looking. So all in all, you guys have, you got extra tools. You can fill it as full as you want. Like, fill it to the gills, all right? So now I know <laughs> what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to 
adhere all this stuff down. I'm going to put two dimensionals right here and here, and then liquid glue at the top. And this is gonna cover up the bottom two holes for sure. Okay, so there's that. And then my wrench over here, that's gonna get a dimensional and a glue dot right there. We're gonna poke and sneak him in like that. This one, hmm, I think we're gonna take a little glue dot and ball it up on the end of it. And then on this one, we're gonna finagle it so that it's like right like that. This one's gonna get a dimensional right there. This one's gonna get a dimensional right there. Again, he needs to be snugging right next to, <laughs> he's making out with the level. That's what that's happening. And then this one, I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put a glue dot right at the base of it so it's not hanging around too much. Oh, come on, pick in there, guy. Ah, oh, come on, there. And then he'll sit pretty right there. We have a yellow pencil where I'm going to take and put that in between over here, like this. And then we'll put the red pencil over on this side. Boom. I think it's plenty full. Like, honestly, it doesn't need any more tools in there. Oh, I left a glue dot right there. Oh, there's another one right there. Perfect. All right, Penny Powell, those are gone for you. All right. Hi, Mitzi Stanley. Better late than never. So now, what did I do? I actually am going to cover up this last hole here because I gave you guys three things here. So we want three. So this last little paintbrush, I'm going to put a dimensional right there. And we're going to run liquid glue then. We're going to cover up that last hole like that. And then you need a black permanent marker though for these guys. Um, I thought I brought one over here. One moment, please. Hmm. I did. It's buried though. So during our winter creative escape, people were dipping these in the black ink pad, the memento. No bueno. Um, they, it doesn't dry. So you definitely want to use a black Sharpie, which it's here. For now, I'm going to put them on. These are cork rounds. And when you color them black, they look super cool. So I'm gonna put them on so I don't lose them. And those are gonna go over the last three of these little holes here. Again, they need to be black. I set my black permanent marker somewhere and not accessibly in front of my face. <laughs> so we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay, oh, all right, but we're not done because you know, I didn't actually pull off the backs of my dimensionals here. So if you feel inclined to go digging in here, grab your scalpel and do a little more card surgery pull this up and catch your backings with your tweezers and that will just help your toolbox to press down good. And then there's also, if I can get it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it, but there was that other one. This is sitting pretty good, but oh, look at this. I bet I can get it. So there was that other There it is, I can pull that right out. And so now my handle is down good. <sighs> wow, okay. That was an intense card workout. Now again, I'm not done. <laughs> I need to color them black with a black Sharpie. Not finding a black Sharpie though. Um, don't use your memento. If you do, what's gonna happen is when you put the cards together, they're gonna smear all over. And that's what happened is these cards were sitting on top of ones that I did that to and I learned my lesson. So no bueno, don't do it. Okay. Wow. 
All right, we have one more card to do, and it is the fun fold, and then I'm going to keep moving with it. <laughs> so we have that card goes there. These are done, and then we have this one. Now you're like, oh man, the hardest one for last. Nope, it's actually really easy. And I'm gonna show you how easy this card is actually to put together. A lot of the work's done for you because we've already put a lot of time into it. Um, so there are, I promise you, there are, there's a little washer, there's a screw, and there's a bolt, a nut, that thing. Those three things are out of silver foil for you, okay? You have the front arm piece, you have your tools, you have your back piece. This is gonna go back here, so we'll get to that in a moment. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these, so we'll put those over there. All right, this is already cut for you. Karen will already cut that out of your designer paper. You have a pencil. You have your little crumb cake piece here for the, like the top of the bench. You have this for a stamp that you can do whatever you want. So they gave me the one that was really crooked and I'm okay with that. So a lot of yours are all gonna be precise and straight, but there was a post-it note on this one that said it was crooked and that's okay. I'm okay with it, I'll, I'll, I'll adapt and work. You have these couple pieces that are scored for you already, right right in the middle here. All right, oh, your dad would have loved these cards, yay! He would have appreciated them. These the little tabs fold like this, so you could do that already. This gray piece goes right in the middle, and you have these two pieces are for your doors, they go right in the front. And then you have your base, and it's all about the base. So this is folded like this at the moment. And what needs to happen is that needs to fold up, and that goes in, and it goes like that. So let's show you here. Like this. Okay? That's how this is going to look. So this little piece here is just for structural support. This goes in like that. It needs to get glued in there. And I guess the easiest way that I found to do this is put the glue on the tabs like this. And this one kind of, it's about a quarter inch from the bottom. And it is, this is only to help su provide support for your card. So we're going to get this in here. And you want to make sure, oop, it moved on me. You want to make sure that the end here is in the fold, right? But not too far in the fold that it doesn't fold properly. So you want to be able for this to fold shut, okay? And then what happens is you can bring this back, and now this should fold into that one, okay? So ultimately, you're just gluing those two little tabs. Let's see if you can get there. See? You can see it there. They're just attached here and here, okay? So far, so good, right? All right. Now we have to put the bridge over like this, all right? So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here for now, okay? And then this is going to get lined up edge to edge here and make sure you have it straight, okay? So we're flush on the bottom and side. And now you're gonna add the little bit of glue on this end here and there. And how you can do this now to make it work is just fold it flat. Now your time to make sure it's straight is happening. Laura said the tape measure is her favorite. All right, so you're gonna have this bridge be a little bit longer than it needs to be. And I always tell you I'd rather have it longer than shorter because all you have to do now is take your scissors and trim it off. If it's too short, you're gonna have a little bit more problem to figure out. But basically now, that's the base, okay? It folds flat this way or this way. All right, now we can get glue happy on these things, okay? These gray things. There's no reason why we can't glue those down. Again, there, everything embossed for this class was with the metal plate because it just seemed to work really well with the type of cards. And this goes here like that. This one goes in the front, like that. 
So this is working in sixteenths of an inch for these things. So you can see the, the matting is so nice when you use sixteenths. Okay, that's easy, right? I think. Now this little guy, you have this left. Now, in the PDF tutorial, it says it's 31, 30 seconds wide. And that's just because it's, it's like, this opening is three inches. This needs to be a hair less than that. And you, the way you check it is put this in here. And if it fits in here, cool. The next thing you need to figure out is this is going to get glued like this. This little flap here gets glued to the back of the bridge. And it's going to get glued so, the, so that the fold is flush at the top. And so how you're going to do is hold this. You're going to test this. Does this stay down when you put it back? Great. If it doesn't, we had some people on Saturday where they had to like practice with this. If it's like this, oh, that worked. Somebody's didn't necessarily stay down. And so she made sure to glue it the other way. So definitely figure out, I think I like this way just a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, so all you have to do then is put glue on that flap and put that, oop, I got glue up there. Let's put this right here. When I fold it, I want that fold to be flush like that. And I'm putting my fingers in here to help hold it. And now that's what pops up and pops down. Okay, so far so good, hopefully. Um, then we can glue this, your cork board thing. We'll go in the top here. Oh, I think I'm going to go like, mm, yeah, I'll use this side. That goes right up here like that. Good. Your crumb cake piece is the top of your bench right here. Like so. You have a little ruler. That's part of the designer series paper. It is, Joanne, that would be perfect for your mechanics. Definitely agree. So that little ruler, it's gonna go at a diagonal in here. So again, Judy Sharp did this card for the Winter Creative Escape. It was the Tyler inspired card and she did a fabulous job. And so we cased her layout and some of her ideas on the front. Change the colors just ever so slightly. All right, I hear Diane outside, so I'm gonna kinda finish up this. I'm gonna cut out my tools and get them on the front of the card. I hear the girls talking outside. The door is gonna open momentarily. And they have class starting at six. So I think we have just a few more minutes and we're gonna finish up this last card. We'll bring it all together here momentarily. That's both an intense card workout, you guys. Oh. Oh. All right, so there's that and that. So the hammer, we're gonna glue that down right away. And then this is going to go like this across the front here, like that. And then the pencil, we have that cut already. Yeah. And so, Diane, I'm still live, just so you guys know. Shh. And did you hear all the S's come out of their mouths? I heard that, you guys. So they said, shh, shh, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> shh. So this one comes up like this. You, and the pencil will go on. So you guys will have different colored pencils. Some will be blue, some will be red, some will be yellow. And that will go on there like that. And then you'll have a couple other tools. One is this wrench like this. I think I've got everything kind of cleared off except for at the end there where I was sitting. And then this guy. Thanks, Cindy. Do you guys have a favorite now that we're winding down? Do you guys have a favorite card? I think if I recall on Saturday what people said, their favorite was this one. Did you guys like for the tool cards? Judy and Chris they were, were here. Gorgeous. They were all gorgeous. Yeah, okay. They were all, they were all good. Okay. And Judy, I like you, the bench. you like the bench. Okay. That's I did, yeah. a lot I of like people. The toolbox. The toolbox bench. Oh, the toolbox. Okay. And the bench. And the bench. And 
Okay, good. All right, and then I'll cut out this last little guy. And we're gonna stamp our sentiment and put on, so there, there, we do not have ribbon on this card and we don't have embellishments per se, but the silver uh, die cut pieces kind of act like embellishments, but they look more like um, parts, which are super cool. All right, that's done. So this one's gonna get glued and this gets glued. How many do you have tonight, Diane? Is it 12? Only seven coming. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I don't have to clear off the other table. No, 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 you're good. Okay, good. I have thought about that. Ooh, got a little glue right there. Okay, so a little glue here. Glue there. This guy we've got hanging on the back over here, like that, like that. And then this one will go across like this, like that. And these are going to be kind of hard to glue because they're so small. Found the file. You were right. It was in the spam. I'm happy to hear that. That's So that's usually where it is, Sandy. <laughs> if you don't see it uh, at right away. Uh, so you, you guys, if anybody that's wondering, usually tutorials are emailed out within like two days before the class. I've been pretty good. I've got Jolene helping me. And we've been able to get like this one, we mailed it out on Saturday, which was a little bit like four days ahead of class. And so we've been getting good about getting out the tutorials sooner rather than later. All right, this one will go over here like that. You kept going, my bad. <laughs> um, all right, so this one I'm gonna do a card to say hello. We'll use the black ink pad. And I'm wondering, there should have been some cork rounds in this kit as well for you guys. So let's get that stamped. Hello, Becky White from Kentucky. All right, so that's the black right there. And this, I popped this up with dimensionals. So what we can do is grab along this side. We're just gonna grab that strip right there. So it'll be perfect to use along the back here. And this will go across the hammer and right about there. Oh, get it straight. And then this last little guy. Thanks, Jan. I'm glad you like the cards. This guy will get a little bit of glue as well. Back here. And we'll put that hanging out there. Okay. Now, the let's look in the envelope. Ah, look at that, you guys. There they are. So there should be two cork rounds. Mine were hanging out in the envelope. They're staticky, but they were there. And this is another one where you're gonna wanna use a black Sharpie. So you either got too big or too small, right? But they're just basically your door handles and they're gonna go right on the gray to kind of act like you can open these up like that. And you're, don't use a memento pad. They will not dry completely. And then this last piece of white that you have in your kit is the, for the back. And it fits right here very nicely. And I actually have, I have that, but I think what would look good would be the wrench back here. So you could always glue these to the outside of your envelopes if you like. Love that you were telling us when you use dimensionals on the PDF. Oh, so Debbie Gast, that is a, a good thing for Jolene to know. So Jolene, I never used to, I mean, in the beginning I used to say it, but then I kind of stopped saying what kind of adhesive to use. And when Jolene started helping me write the tutorials, she started calling out the dimensionals. And so I will have to tell Jolene that that is a positive thing that she's putting that in there. So I, I'm glad, I'm glad that you appreciate that she calls that out. Because I always tell people that popping up is a personal preference. It's like, if you want things flat, you can put them flat. And if you want them popped up, pop them up. Just know that sometimes when you go to mail it, it adds on to the thickness of your card in your envelope. All right, so we're gonna glue this. So I do love this card. However, how do we let whoever know who gets this card, how to operate it? So Laura, put a, a post-it note on it, right? So if you want the person to know how to operate it, what you're gonna have to do is tell them. You either have to call them and tell them or you have to put a little post-it note. So when you mail this card, this is going to be up like this 
and it's going to be flat, right? So when they're reading it, you could put a post-it note. You tell them that they need to kind of adjust the card so that, however you need to say it, I don't know how to say it, but you would adjust the card so that it's 3D and then the bench part goes down. And then to shut it, they need to pop the bench part up if they want it to go flat again, okay? All right, so that is where we're at with this one. And sending directions. Yes, a little post-it note with directions. So we did it. Okay, you guys, it's about seven minutes to six, and I'm gonna do two drawings really quick. One is gonna be for our celebration board number nine, and one is for a drawing for the door prize for class tonight. So while I'm pulling out my book, if you guys wanna tell us what your favorite card is, we would love it. We've This is the one we started with, but this was our humdinger, right? Trying to put our tool cart together. And then we had um, our little cork board, or however you wanna call that, pegboard, so you can hang up your tools. And then we did our exploding toolbox card <laughs> that's full of tools, and then we did our workbench. And again, the only things I really don't have done are coloring these with a black Sharpie. So. Let me grab my phone and we'll pull up random number generator and let's put in here. I don't remember how many I said, but we'll pull it really quickly and see where we had a number was 16 with Brenda. Okay, so let's put 16 in here and I'm going to hit the word generate and drum roll. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner, six. All right. Who is number six? Six is Francis Rodriguez. Yay, Francis. All right, I got your name circled so that you win a door prize. All right, then what we'll do is flip the camera back this way. And when you do a $50 order during celebration, you get your name on the board and it's for every $50. So if you do 100, you get your name on the board twice. If you do 300, you get your name on this time on the board six times. And so uh, we just added the last square today. And so you guys want to do the drum roll? <laughs> this is a good drum roll, right? <laughs> All right, winner, 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 winner. All right, the number is, let me flip the camera down, show you guys what it is. Oh my goodness, it's number one. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, uh, the number one is, she loves her number one, it's Miss Dar McCarthy. So congratulations to Dar. I think Dar has won on number one in the past. Yeah. Buy a lottery it's, ticket. Buy a lottery it's ticket, really Dar. <laughs> so I think you won on one last year. So she always tries to get her number one. So yay, congratulations to Dar. Good job on the roll, on the, on the, the drum roll, you guys. I love it. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to end it here so that Diane can start her class on time. I hope you guys enjoyed the Trusty Tools uh, class. Uh, just know there's more tools in your future if you are so inclined. Oh, there's Diane. <laughs> Yay. If you are so... Oh, and I'll show you guys in case anybody else wants to wave over there. I got... I, wave. I, yay. Hi. See? We got... Yay. <laughs> Very good. There's, we got like lots of happy stampers here tonight. Um, there are more tools in your future and I don't have time to show them to you tonight. I have been showing them off since last week. We have 14 cards lined up for the trusty tools stamp a stack. One of them or two of them are similar, but in general, they're different layouts and you get a full pack of the DSP. You get a full pack of the embellishments and the Baker's twine along with 14 card kits in the envelopes. And I have my March showcase showdown on the Friday, the 23rd, to see what's coming up for classes in March. I will show all those cards off um, and the memories and more cards in case you missed them earlier today. Hi, Carissa. Oh, man, Chris is watching. Hi, hey, Carissa. Hey, Carissa. <laughs> <laughs> she says, hi, Diana, ladies at class. <laughs> Yay. All right, you guys, lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs to everybody. We will see you, oh, what, tomorrow or fra Thursday or Friday? What is today, Tuesday? Yeah. Tomorrow's Wednesday? Okay. We're live again Friday. Okay, for the showcase. Yep. All right, you guys, I love you a long time. I'll come to 10 just in case it ends early. One, two, three, four, five.